What's your greatest pinch me moment that you're I, like, I can't I, believe this I, is I real. love doing this with y'all right here. I mean, this is this is fun. And and like I said, I should have kept a journal. My mom said to do it, but if I'd have kept one, I'd have probably been a two year player and out, had nothing to <laughs> Big in history, love, love, uh, obviously being in Boston, I met the Kennedys and uh, 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 just just so many cool guys. I mean, you know, they meet you like I tell guys, you know, they're like, hey, on the mound. I go, that's my job. I was brought up that way. I take it very seriously. Like I said, I changed, uh, you know, there, you know, when I did it, uh, again, I, I jumping around here with, with these questions, but – uh, my sisters always remind me of the two days my mom sat at the kitchen table with her hand when our electricity got turned off. So come on, mm. guys. So that's again, that's why it chats me. You silver million dollars? No, 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 no. Do do your homework, okay? I said you know it might have happened to some, for some, but you know I didn't have a car in high school. I ran with my backpack from my high school to our our, our town home, and uh, so uh, but to be able to meet some of these people and, and you know they see you and they're, hey man you're funny. They see me DJing. I go this, this stuff I love to do when I'm pitching I love it but again it, it was about you know about winning because I'm wearing a city on my chest I want to perform you guys come get a dog and take right from work take you know get your beer and a dog I want there's nothing worse than driving home after I've laid an egg I get knocked out in the third inning I hate it but again I, like I told the guys the other day in the clubhouse I won 200 games because I was on with my heater split mm-hmm. slider I was on you had no chance the games that I got out of second and third, bases loaded, and, uh, you know, the, my catchers are like, you know, after the game, like, oh, I have no idea how we did that. You know, we won five to four. But that's what they pay you to do. They pay you to pitch. I know going to the bar, when I wake up, I go through that's the lineup, it. take my shower. I go through the lineup <clears throat> you, where you guys prepare. I mean, this is fun for me because you guys are bringing stuff on me that I forgot about. Mm-hmm. So it's it makes it fun for me. Now, wash my hair, I'm going through the lineup. I know when I get to the stadium in that game, I'm going to have second, third, and one out. Somewhere in that game, I'm going to have to get out of it uh, to win the game. And uh, so it's your mindset. I go through progressions. Like I said, uh, physically I got you. All the laps I ran on backfields that nobody saw. All the fielding. I told the guys, again, in the clubhouse, I'll tell you guys, I said, you know what your strengths are. You polish those. But you friggin' know what your weaknesses are. And just like in other games, I know what you do best. I'm going to try and I'm going to take that away from you at the plate immediately, especially when I pitch inside. I don't pitch inside to hit guys. I pitch inside to make a 17-inch plate, a 24-inch plate. I tell the pitchers that pitch inside late, it does nothing for you. They're going to climb right back on the plate. I pitch in early. So when the guys are still dicking around on the bench, spitting sunflower seeds, the first, boom, strike. Everybody talks about when they get in. Second pitch, boom. Inside, light him up a little bit. Everybody on the bench goes, oh, oh shit, here we yep. go, here we go. <laughs> we got a game. So now you get guys' attention and and, and, and you do your, do your thing that way. But what's, I've, what's, I've met so many cool people. I what, mean, So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.